Climate change affects everyone, everywhere, and is a priority for all. Recognizing the need for urgent action, in 2017, UNESCO adopted its strategy for action on climate change, outlining how UNESCO could help states tackle this issue. The strategy was designed around four pillars. Climate change education, scientific cooperation, culture, and social inclusion. As the strategy comes to an end in 2021, we ask ourselves, how effective has it been? And what can be done to strengthen UNESCO's efforts in the fight against climate change? The strategy has allowed UNESCO to align its work with the objectives of existing frameworks that govern climate action, thereby supporting member states to achieve the goals these set out and the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The strategy was meant to help member states mitigate and adapt to climate change, with priority given to actions contributing to gender equality, Africa, small island developing states, and youth and indigenous people. To help countries and citizens face the consequences of climate change, UNESCO concentrated its efforts on adaptation, where it has a comparative advantage. In Jamaica, for example, a country particularly exposed to natural hazards, UNESCO supported the creation of a handbook designed to equip journalists with information on climate change and strategies and angles to convey the magnitude of the climate challenges. In Zimbabwe and Mozambique, UNESCO developed an early warning system to strengthen both countries' flood and drought monitoring and forecasting capabilities with a view to protect citizens and preserve infrastructure. Conscious that empowering youth is crucial to effectively address this challenge, in 2020, UNESCO organized a Youth Leadership Camp for Climate Crisis in Indonesia. The camp gathered 50 students and young professionals to deepen their understanding of climate change and enhance their communication skills, using social media especially, to promote climate solutions and mobilize others to act. Overall, a total of 221 climate-related projects have been undertaken over the past three years. To shape policies, UNESCO has successfully driven communication between the scientific community and policymakers. It has also played a unique role in bridging the gap with citizens, urging countries to involve them in policy discussions, a role very much valued by experts. However, the evaluation also found that a lack of resources and internal coordination problems had been barriers to the strategy reaching its full potential. The evaluation therefore recommends that UNESCO create a coordinating structure that will set clear priorities and facilitate collaboration to give greater coherence to UNESCO's climate change programming. UNESCO needs to keep on being a knowledge-based leader in fighting climate change, the defining issue of our time. <laughs>